Oh, hey guys, it's uh, Pete and Clint from Boat Captains. Uh, some of you probably don't know, not only are we boat captains, we're also uh, amateur mechanics. So, uh, we haven't been doing so much videoing lately because we've been busy uh, kind of on a little project here. We're restoring an 85 van again. Um, so, we figured in an attempt to appease everybody, we put a video out there um, on how to restore completely restore a 1985 uh, Volkswagen Vanagon. So this is step one. So uh, yeah, just follow along. So um, I guess the first thing we did today was um, instantly have to stop our project and put up a um, clothesline. Clothesline. Yeah. For uh, my wife. Um, step one was the clothesline, mm -hmm. which we attached to the porch we just recently kind of extended last week. Uh, put a lot of pressure on it. Actually totally compromised the integrity of the porch yeah. with the clothesline. We didn't know that. We until, haven't told my wife yet yeah. that it might be compromised, but... Got it up! I don't think you could put any more stress on it, so it's probably <laughs> fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, but the van again. Back, back to that. So we got this thing for a song of some sucker who uh, just told us it was overheating on him and he didn't know what to do with it. So we immediately figured, it's the head. Yeah, we know what to do And we were it. just like, well, let's just rip those heads off because we know how to do that. Yeah. And uh, got in today and uh, he watched a video yesterday on YouTube about how to, you know, do the heads. And like, kind of near like halfway bolt. through it, I started doing the forward every five seconds. So yeah, I missed some of it. wasn't a good video it, about auto mechanics you know, not digging on anybody. Yeah, uh, but, but that's anyway. why we're making this. Yeah, though. you know, quality um, assurance on yeah, the internet. Yeah, exactly. Um, so, uh, yeah, anyway, we started ripping into the heads, you know, you gotta tear some stuff off, uh, we took the, uh, the cap, the head cap, what is that even, I don't even know. The what head that, cap. The head cap. Yeah, we took, took that the head, head cap, cap off, off. Spilled oil fucking everywhere. Oh, it went um, everywhere. Yeah. So then it dawned on us that we should probably drop the oil, uh, yeah. out of the main reservoir as opposed to letting it leak out of all the various holes that we were putting probably in the engine. should have been step one. So we did that, that makes sense as step one, um, got that done. Uh, started getting some kick plates out of the way and just some other kind of hardware like that, unnecessary hardware like that. Yeah. Does anybody in their tool set have an 11.5 millimeter wrench? Because we don't. No. It wasn't an 11. It wasn't a 12. We tried standard, don't. It wasn't a 7 yeah. si 16 No, it wasn't, we know. It wasn't a half. Yeah. We did all of that. But we had a pair of vice grips, so we got it off. Made it happen. Loosened um, it was able to move it. Um, I think the step after that then was when we decided to uh, take off the cooling system and the exhaust at the same time. Exhaust cooling. Two of us. Uh, yeah. We just we were going to tag team it. Like, I'll just get that out of the way. You get that out of the way. Boom. Yeah. Ah. Um, but, like, the just telekinetic, telepathic, whatever yeah. it is, individuals that we are, we decided at that moment maybe we should pump the brakes. Yeah. Um, because and... that seemed daunting. Yeah, all of a sudden it was a lot of the engine that needed to be removed at once, yeah. uh, and we thought, hold on, let's let's Maybe do a little. Google. Yeah, let's Google, Google all of this. He found a real good forum. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Oh, it was like v Vanigan dot ed something. Yeah, dot edu. Dot ed. No, yeah. it was dot ed. Dot ed. <laughs> it's a Canadian education. System. It's a Canadian education yeah. at Vanigan. The outreach network. Mm. Anyway, great forum for Vanagon information. We realized it might be actually the fan in the front that cools the radiator. Yeah. So we fired it up. Well, that's not actually, exactly true. Yeah. Um, yeah, so at that point we realized we probably... Because it didn't have oil in it. Yeah, he had to put the oil back in it. Because, yeah, when we took those caps off, we took the oil out because that's smart. But we couldn't put the oil back in it because the oil was... It was a mess. We kind of started using it as a trash can. Yeah, we didn't. We were like, well, that's all just discarded junk. So we yeah. started... And it wasn't clean. Tossing more grass and stuff in it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> which we have in our hands. <laughs> But anyway, uh, yeah, so we decided then uh, to go get some oil, got the oil. And a filter. Got the filter, one trip, um, filled it up after we put the filter on, um, fired up the engine. At that point, it was still in the garage, um, so we let it run for about 12 minutes, just kind of watching, waiting, anticipating, seeing what's happening. Getting down, and, and just so you guys know, the, the engine is definitely in the back. Yeah. That's why we had it backed into the garage, yeah. but that's also where the exhaust is. So we were just hanging around the back of the van again, 
looking at the engine with the exhaust filled the garage for us. So it's works. something that you don't realize is creeping up on you, but um, we got a little panicky at about the 12 minute mark. Realized we should probably get out of the garage, yeah. um, but still wanted to follow through um, with what we were doing. Didn't just turn it off. No, because we and were like in the air out of the garage. We're like, no, we got to find out yeah. it's getting hot. This was it's the control. It's getting hot. So um, decided to drive it out of the garage at that point. Um, Under the influence I was of in carbon monoxide. My driveway. I don't think you can test for that. Um, but anyway, got kind of out of there, ran over an inessential piece of the engine that we had the kick plate that we left underneath yeah, the tires of. and we drove over both of them um not sure which one we hit we heard a crunching noise both of them are a different shape now but we don't different. know what's the original shape and what's the new shape well because he took shape. off one i took off the other so we didn't yeah. compare what they looked like originally so that's why these vans are fun to work on with a friend because there's Teamwork. often they're kind of divided down the middle yeah so you, like you can kind of tag team things like, hey you get that one i'll get this yeah, one who knows I'll get whatever this system it's fine and uh neither was really remembered what it looked like no to be honest so. actually but then we pulled it out panicked because i ran over something and was high cut off the engine so we're not hasn't sure run that since. it's the fan yeah because it hasn't yeah, run hadn't been able to start it since pretty sure it's the fan yeah um, but the laundry's dry yeah all right well that is step one so we'll get back yeah. to you with step two how to fix a volkswagen 85 van again completely overhauled stay tuned step two should load right away i think that's 